His name is Paul Senegal, but it was a girl who wondered why the young musician wouldn't come off of the stage after a performance who gave him his nickname. He spent much of his career playing with the king of Zydeco, Clifton Chenier, but the list of artists he's played with is too long to count. It's the way his fingers move along the strings that made him not only Acadiana famous, but world famous. Here's my conversation with Lil Buck. First thing God spend in the morning, Immaculate Heart Church, every morning, six o'clock. From there, go get in the, come and get a cup of coffee, and that's it all day on the old porch, because there's guys there all day, long as I'm there. That porch is where Lil Buck learned to play his guitar. It's just down the street from where he lives now, so he jumped in his van. That's old, huh? I've been there 74 years, huh? and took us there. When you play now, and you're here, and you sit on the porch, what does it feel like today? Oh, the chills, well, look. Our journey continues inside. That's where it all started, right here. Right in here? Yep. He talks about starting to play at 11 years old and having his own band at 14. As he pulls out his favorite guitar. That's a 1954. He talks about the one time in his life when he stopped playing, when both of his parents died the same year, 31 years ago. I stopped playing, and, that, and that's why it's 31 years I go to church every morning. Fortunately, he decided to plug back in and start to play again. The name of it was Honky Tonk. Honky Tonk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was and that was the first song you learned? Yeah, by Bill Doggett. I passed by him, they all over the place. I don't touch it because I know it's going to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? You're going to play. All day. Lil Buck says he never imagined a little boy from the Macomb neighborhood in Lafayette would travel all over the world. You name it, the only two places I have been is Japan and China. But you name it, from Helsinki, Finland, to wherever you name it, I've been there. <laughs> This husband and father of two played with too many musicians to count. His favorite type of music is still the blues. And while on the road years ago with Clifton Chenier, he met his idol, B.B. King. Well, after we finished playing, B.B. King came on, and I was sitting in the big dressing room with some monitors, and he turned around and said, Hey, Clifton, send your little guitar player up here. Oh, man, boy, I up and grabbed my guitar. I was shaking, bro. He put me stand up right by him. Lil Buck says he didn't sleep for two days after that. Uh, well, one guy asked me how much I charge him. I said, nothing, man, they didn't charge me to teach me. You were playing music, what would you be doing? Uh, if I wasn't playing music, maybe I wouldn't be here, I don't know. He once worked at a car dealership, but that only lasted about seven months. He just couldn't step away from music full time. He also plays the piano and the trumpet. As he puts these newspaper clippings away, I asked one simple question. Are you famous? Huh? Are you famous? I don't look at it that way. I just like what I do. And if you think I'm famous, thank you. You hear me, I hope you feel like me. I feel full of love, you know, happiness. You know The 74-year-old and I talked about some of the hardest things about being on the road, his, famous, his favorite meal, and why he has never left the Lafayette neighborhood he grew up in. To see our full conversation, go to KTC.com slash Acadiana Famous. And still to come, some UL athletes are doing